Monitor your cells before an experiment to make sure they are healthy. Turn on the centrifuge and put it on 4 degrees Celsius. Add 1 ml of trisol per 10 square centimeter to culture dish. Then pass the cell like that several times through a pipette. Remove everything and put it in 1.5 ml tubes. Don't forget to wear gloves, goggles, and a lab coat for your own safety. Then add 200 microliters of chloroform to it under the hood and shake it for 15 seconds rigorously. Incubate it in room temperature for 2 to 3 minutes. Wipe down your bench before putting your tubes on it with RNAs away. Spin it down for 15 minutes on 14,000 RPM. The mixture separates into three layers. RNA remains in the upper colorless layer. So transfer this layer into a new cap tube without touching the white interface layer. Add 500 microliters isopropanol or also known as 2-propanol. Then shake it gently for 10 times and incubate it in room temperature for 10 minutes. After incubation, again centrifuge for 10 minutes at 14,000 RPM. After this, you would be able to see a white pellet, which is an RNA. Remove the isopropanol as much as you can and throw it away without touching the white pellet, which is an RNA. In the following steps, we need to wash the RNA three times with 75% ethanol. Using this equation, we will see how much of a pure ethanol and sterile water we will need to do so. Here, I am making 30 ml of 75% ethanol from a pure ethanol. For the first wash with 75% ethanol, add 1 ml of ethanol to the RNA. Then vortex it for a little bit. Then centrifuge at a speed of 10,000 RPM for 10 minutes. For the second wash, discard the ethanol and repeat the previous step. Add ethanol, vortex, and centrifuge. After discarding the ethanol, add 1 ml of ethanol, vortex it, and centrifuge it again. So this would be the last wash. After centrifugation, discard the ethanol. Spin the tubes down again to get rid of ethanol as much as possible.
Using pipette, get rid of that small amount of ethanol as much as you can. Put the tubes down on bench for 10 minutes with its cap open to dry out. As you can see, there is no ethanol left in the tube. Add 20 to 50 milliliters of sterile water to the RNA and mix together. Using Nanodrop, see what's the concentration of the RNA that you isolated. In the following video, we'll see how Nanodrop works. Thanks for watching the video.